and some of it sprayed on me pillar. <laughs> Hello, what's that crap? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. You guys told me you want me to introduce more Mickey Flanagan to Tyler. After the first one, you guys commented. Thanks for the comments. Now I'm introducing you to the shit abroad. The first one was a bay. Mm, I think it was alright. It wasn't like barely laughing. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't like barely yeah. aching laughed or not. Like but yeah, but you enjoyed it. I feel like this one, you should enjoy it more. Alright. I aye. think so. We'll but yeah. Make another chance. You know, another chance for Mickey Flanagan. Knock my socks off. <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> Let's go. There's only one place I'll go on a regular basis, Spain. Now, Spain is lovely because we turned up in the mid-70s and we conquered the Spanish. We said, we like it here, but we want a couple of changes. Because there's no bingo in the evening. Cadillac's not very good. And we're struggling to get a roast on Sundays. So, wait, do you, do you ever watch Betty Dom? No. Nah. You, you ever the TV show Betty so it's about, uh, it's about British people that live in Spain and it's like having brain in Spain, but just the only difference is the oh, weather. Okay. So literally, a lot of British people moved to Spain, start going to another in Spain. Spain, Portugal, yeah, mainly Spain and Portugal because of the weather, but then they changed Spain so much that you feel like you're in Britain. You start having roast dinners, you start having bingo nights, they do so much stuff, even the, even the pubs. Okay. That's how you get loads of Irish pubs, it's British pubs, you know, because yeah. of that. Because the, the only good reason why they're there because of the weather. Do you know what I mean? Again, I think that's why there's so many British pubs in Spain, especially Spain, and, and Irish pubs in Spain. The Irish pubs in yeah. are always There's nice everywhere. Yeah, remember when we went to Brussels? The Brussels, Irish pub that we went I swear. Five days in a row, O'Reilly's. O'Reilly's. Shout out to Brussels, Belgium. <laughs> Shout out to O'Reilly's. <laughs> so I feel like that, that's the background. That's why he's saying, you know, they conquered back in the 80s. Everyone's just like going to Spain from England. I think that's the background. Let me know if I'm right anyway. Let's go. <laughs> and there was a fear, wasn't there, of going to Spain? A massive fear, an overwhelming fear. And I'll tell you what it was. The shits. <laughs> The fear of the shits was monumental. <laughs> You'd say to people, we're going to Benidorm next year. They go, oh, you'll get the shits. <laughs> and you'd have to justify it and say, well, at least you can rely on the weather. <laughs> but you go to Spain, get the shits, have a nice time, come back. Over the last 30 odd years, the shits has largely disappeared from this experience. I mean, you don't get the shits. You come home, you come home unscathed. You've got to go more long haul now if you want to get the shits. You've got to go more international. This time last year, I was invited to India, to Mumbai, for the opening weekend of the comedy store in India. And then when I turned up, they pulled me to one side. They said, listen, Mick, we've got a thing here called Deli Belly. It's a bit tasty. <laughs> if you get it, you'll be banging trouble. <laughs> so don't have ice in your drinks. Leave the salads alone. Be careful. I said, you're all right. I've been going to Spain for 30 years. <laughs> I'm covered. <laughs> so. Do you know what? This is so funny. Remember we're chatting about, we're watching this a documentary just there. And we're talking about okay. Spain, about uh, India. India, yeah, yeah. About how we saw a lot of street food where, like, there was zero hygiene. Zero. In, I'm not sure where exactly it is in India. Obviously, it's not all of India. But there was a particular street where there were rats going around. And they were like, what the yeah, fuck? I'm, I'm pretty sure them street food are not HACCP. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. There is zero. But it's the fact that people, most people are so used to it. But for me, I'm not having that. No chance. There was no, literally there was rats. The guy was making you know street food for people, and there was rats going about. Let me know if you guys have seen them them all them videos. It could be the rat or something. No, remember that? What's that? Oh, what's that film back in the days? Ratatouille. Ratatouille. <laughs> rat is the chef. Yeah, yeah, it could be, it could be, that's what's going on there. Oh God. <laughs> Let's get back to you. Ratatouille. I'm having ice in my drinks. I'm having the salads. I'm washing in a ditch. <laughs> Free. 10.30 at night. After the show, I looked at me mate Paul. I said, Paul, I don't feel right, mate. I'm a very regular man. I go in the morning. It's half 10 at night and I feel like I need to go. He said, well, 
on then, she'd go. I said, no, I'm going to go. And I went to the toilet. And with the gentlest of pushes. <laughs> the world fell out of my arse. Terrifying! You're wondering where it all comes from. You start to panic, you think I'm going to empty. I'm going to end up a costume of a man. They're going to find me hung on the back of the door. I went out to me, mate, Paul, a bit panicky. Genuinely scared. I said, Paul, this stuff's coming out of me. All this dirty water. He said, well, how bad is it? I said, have you ever emptied an old radiator? <laughs> That's the consistency we're looking at. He said, oh, it can't be that bad. He said, come and have a light out. What's the matter with you? Come. I said, I can't. I said, I've got about five seconds between I think I'm going to shit myself and when I will. I said, this ain't no disco, man. I've had this, I can't remember where I was, I travelled somewhere, but I can't remember having this, I remember I've had that scenario before, where you just can't stop shit, where you, diarrhea is bad. Uh, funny enough, I've been lucky enough, I don't think I've I think was this, I'm not sure it was ever. Dubai, I think I was, well, I think it was Dubai, when that, for Maybe heaven, I can't remember. Yeah, I think for me, it was probably, I'm not sure what it was Dubai or Turkey, I can't remember, but I remember just the fact that every five minutes, literally, I felt empty, literally, I, I could literally oh. feel my lungs. <laughs> I feel so literally I can feel the one is describing it, it just makes so so much sense to me. Uh, you feel so empty. Just the food you're not used to. Bro, I felt literally there, there was nothing left to come out. I was just just water, like <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Pain, pain perfect, perfect. Some ASMR. <laughs> well yeah, let's get back. No fooling around. I said this ain't no disco, man. <laughs> This ain't no fooling around. <laughs> and he was rather unsympathetic, if you don't mind me saying. But a couple of days later, he phoned me up, room to room. About half past nine in the morning, sounding a little bit upset. He said, Mick, I think I've got him. <laughs> I said, go on then, how bad is it? He said, put it this way. I've just farted. <laughs> and some of it sprayed on me pillar. <laughs> it was a bit like the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> no, they could never work out how that bullet ended up where it did. I said, Jimmy, you got shit on your pillow. <laughs> so I don't know how it ended up there. <laughs> oh, you are. Yeah, I think that, that was a way more better. Yeah, that was better than the first one. Yeah, I, I, feel like, yeah I feel like Mickey Flang is one of them ones that once you start noticing the style, you start, you know, getting his jokes yeah, more. This guy also used to, I give him his flowers. That's what, mm. Yeah, that's yeah, what, as, that's what yeah like, it makes you feel like you're in the room, like you're dead with him, the way he describes it. Mm. But you don't want to be in the same room as when he was taking having the shits. Oh, but <laughs> the whole assassination, the whole yeah, yeah. Kennedy. Yeah, that was really good, man. That was really good. Yeah, I'm glad you liked this. I told you this one would be way a lot better. Like but, yeah. Mickey. Mickey. I think it's Irish. You guys let us know. Is he Irish? Is he Irish? I've, I know he's from Essex. Is he Essex? Yeah, it sounds Irish. It's Scottish. I know. He's Cockney. Uh, Welsh. He's definitely Cockney. No, he's, he's definitely from England because of his accent. But I think his name has to be Irish. Maybe. maybe yeah, probably his grand, grandparents. Now. I'm guessing. Something like that. But yeah, let us know what else you guys want to see. That was really good. Again, thanks to the big man for coming over. If you guys like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye. See you later.